12 strange signs that your body needs more magnesium. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you suspect a deficiency. Sign number one, twitching muscles. One of the most common signs of a magnesium deficiency is an irritating twitching in your upper or lower eyelid. When you don't have enough magnesium, more calcium goes into your nerve cells and they become overexcited, sending more nerve impulses, which causes your facial muscles to twitch. Drinking soda or eating too many refined grains often causes this. 2. Waking up between 2 to 3 am. If you often wake up in the middle of the night and you can't seem to get back to sleep easily, you likely have high levels of the stress hormone called cortisol, which is affecting your sleep and wake cycles. Getting more magnesium can help to lower this cortisol and keep you relaxed enough to sleep throughout the night. 3. Irritation have you noticed that when you skip a meal, you tend to start feeling irritated, nervous or easily triggered by things? This is because your blood sugars have dropped and your cells have trouble keeping up with making enough energy. Getting more magnesium, potassium and sodium into your diet can help your body to adapt to fasting and skipping a meal every now and then. 4. Heart flutters Magnesium works with calcium to relax and contract your heart muscle to pump blood through your body. However, if you notice a pounding sensation in your chest, skipped beats or a feeling like your heart is fluttering, you very likely need more magnesium in your diet. The best natural supplement for this is called magnesium glycinate, but we'll talk more about the best sources of magnesium later. 5. High blood pressure Magnesium is also needed to open up and vasodilate your arteries to make it easier for your heart to pump blood through your body. If you don't have enough however, calcium tends to build up inside the arteries, making them very stiff, which raises your blood pressure and increases the risk of heart disease. Sometimes this high pressure situation can also trigger headaches and migraines. Sign number 6 is constipation. If you often suffer from constipation, you may simply need a little more magnesium in your diet from leafy green vegetables. This mineral magnesium supports the relaxation of smooth muscles in your colon and it helps them to pump the waste through your intestines. This is called peristalsis. A form of magnesium called magnesium citrate can also help to draw water into your intestines to soften your stool and make its passage easier when you're using the toilet. 7. Bone pain Did you know that 60% of the magnesium in your body is stored inside your bones because it works alongside things like vitamin D and calcium to keep the bones very strong? Magnesium also stimulates parathyroid hormone, which helps to drive calcium into your bones. If you become deficient in magnesium, however, your bones may become weaker and you may begin developing osteoporosis, which is bone loss, or osteopenia, which is bone pain. 8. Stiff Joints Magnesium also activates vitamin D in the body to prevent calcium from building up on the outside of the joints where it doesn't belong. If you have stiff joints, this could be caused by the lack of magnesium or it could also be a vitamin C or a copper deficiency which are both involved with building collagen. Number 9 is anxiety. You need to have lots of potassium and magnesium from leafy green vegetables to keep your nervous system balanced and relaxed. If you don't have enough of these, along with vitamin B1, you're very likely to become anxious and have obsessive, overexcited thoughts. This is caused by having an overactive fight or flight response. 10. Cravings for chocolate when you're under a lot of emotional stress, your body releases more adrenaline and cortisol which can deplete your magnesium reserves. This can leave you with a very strong craving for chocolate, as cocoa in chocolate naturally has a lot of magnesium. The problem is that chocolate also contains oxalates which can bind to the magnesium, causing an endless loop of cravings. 
11. Clawed hands or feet. The muscles in your hands may sometimes tense and clench together, causing them to be tight in a claw-like position. A magnesium deficiency is usually causing this spasm in the muscles of your hands, and it's also preventing calcium from working properly in order to relax the hands. This tightness can also happen in the feet, especially when you're lying down at night. 12. Muscle cramps. The lack of magnesium can also cause any of the muscles in your body to go into spasm and cramp, especially in the calf muscles of your legs. It's also quite common for the neck muscles to spasm when you have a magnesium deficiency. Getting more electrolytes, potassium, magnesium and calcium in their plant-based form from vegetables is the best way to overcome this. You also need to have the right level of salt in your diet to provide the sodium that your muscles need. And one final symptom that I'd like to talk about is asthma. People who suffer from asthma may also consider taking a daily supplement called magnesium glycinate. Magnesium helps to reduce tightness in the airways and can open up the bronchioles and airways for easier breathing. A high dose of vitamin D3 along with K2 can also work with the magnesium to improve asthma symptoms. Testing for magnesium. What you need to know is that only 1% of the magnesium in your body is stored in your blood, so you can't tell if you have enough from a simple blood test. This is why magnesium deficiencies are often overlooked or ignored by doctors, so it's very important to take note of the signs and the symptoms that your body presents and learn more about what is causing the deficiency. Why am I low in magnesium? Magnesium is involved with over 350 different enzymes in the body, from making DNA and RNA, to nerve function, muscle contraction and so much more. For this reason, you need to be getting a lot of magnesium in your diet, at least 400 to 800 milligrams per day. Unfortunately, over 75% of people nowadays have an invisible deficiency of magnesium because they simply don't eat enough vegetables that they're adapted to eat. You see, magnesium is found mostly in the central molecule of chlorophyll. That's the green pigment found in plants. Let's take a look at some other reasons that you may be deficient in magnesium. Eating too many whole grains which contain phytic acid can bind to magnesium and making it unavailable in your body. Eating sweetened foods which contain fructose or corn syrup also deplete magnesium as your liver uses twice as much magnesium in order to process it. Soda drinks contain lots of phosphoric acid which can make your blood too acidic so the magnesium isn't activated and used properly by your cells. There's also the issue that fertilizers used in farming don't usually have magnesium, which often leaves the soils and the foods low in magnesium content. High levels of stress and cortisol can deplete magnesium. Taking antacids can block you from absorbing minerals like magnesium properly. And diuretic drugs may also cause you to lose your minerals through your urine. Finally, a deficiency in vitamin D from not getting enough sunshine on your skin can also prevent magnesium from becoming active in your body. So, as you can see, there are a range of different reasons that you may become deficient in magnesium. How to boost magnesium levels naturally Start eating a large salad every day containing leafy green vegetables, including lettuce, collard greens, arugula, cucumber, watercress and cabbage. You can also get good doses of magnesium by eating pumpkin seeds, yogurt, sea salt and wild salmon. Take a daily supplement of magnesium glycinate, which has 200 milligrams of magnesium on the label. If you like to do intermittent fasting for health purposes or weight loss, be sure to get yourself a good quality electrolyte powder and mix this in water to drink during your fast with a pinch of sea salt. This will provide the electrolytes, including magnesium, to maintain the normal charge of the mitochondria in your cells. If you find that you experience magnesium deficiencies when you're fasting, like heart palpitations or twitching, I'd recommend stop over fasting and be a little more gradual in your approach. 
avoid depleters. Cut back on whole grains, refined grains, sugars, fructose, vegetable oils and junk foods. These foods add more workload to your cells which deplete your magnesium fast. Eat more whole food protein sources to replace the junk foods that also contain magnesium like chicken, salmon, pork, shellfish and beef. You could also take a daily supplement of vitamin D3 to help your body absorb and activate magnesium. If you are looking for a more powerful magnesium supplement to improve brain function and mental focus, you may consider using magnesium L3 and 8. This supplement tends to be more expensive, but it passes through the blood-brain barrier easier and helps to improve the connections between brain cells, particularly when you are studying, learning or memorising. Supplements to avoid Make sure that you always check the ingredients on supplements. I advise that you avoid magnesium oxide, sulphate, carbonate or hydroxide. These elemental types of magnesium are poorly absorbed and may have side effects. You should stick with magnesium glycinate, citrate or threonate for the very best effects. For more useful health content be sure to subscribe and watch some of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching this video today and as always I wish you great health wealth and happiness.